What is up all you worship peoples? Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Nate Meist and I love equipping worship leaders with helpful and encouraging content. And in this video, we're gonna be learning how to play on an acoustic guitar, a new release by Red Rocks Worship called Good Plans. It's an amazing song. Let's get into it. If you're new here, thank you so much for hanging out with me. If these videos are helping you, which is the goal, why don't you give them a like and maybe even subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you don't miss future worship tutorials. All right, so there are three things we'll be going over in this video to help you learn the song on an acoustic guitar. The first thing is key and capo placement. So the key that the song was originally recorded in, the key that I'll be playing it in, and how to use your capo to maybe play in some other keys that might be good for your voice. Uh, the second thing uh, is one strumming pattern that's gonna get you through this entire song and will break that strumming pattern down for you. And the third and final thing are the chords. I'm gonna play through each section of the song individually. And as I do, I will have these handy little chord diagrams in the upper right hand corner so that you can pause the video and see exactly what my finger placement is for every chord that I'm using. Don't forget that this video is segmented, which means that you can skip ahead to any part of the song that you would like to learn right now. All right, so this song was originally recorded in the key of D. I'm actually gonna stay in that key for this tutorial. That, that key, you know, fits my voice just fine. And it makes it easy for you guys if you're using the original song as reference, you know, trying to learn this song at home. Uh, that means that I will have my capo on fret number two. So one, two, and I'll be playing in what's called the C position. If you don't know what the C position is or how to play in it, I have a video for that, so click up above or down below to learn more about that. So again, I'll be staying right here with my capo on fret number two, using the C position and playing in the key of D. Now, using those same exact chord shapes in the, those C position chords, um, you can play in a bunch of other keys. So let's see which keys you can play in. So let's take our capo down to fret number one, that's gonna put you in the key of D flat or C sharp. Take your uh, capo off completely, and if you play a C position chord, that means you're in the key of C without a capo. Uh, let's go up to fret number three and see what key we're in there. That'll put us in the key of E flat or D sharp. Up to fret number four, and now we're gonna be in the key of E. And up to fret number five, that will put you in the key of F. So those are a bunch of different keys that you could play in still using the same exact chord shapes that I'm gonna teach you in this video. Uh, to help you guys out at home, you might wanna download your chord chart in the key of C, and that would kinda of help you follow along with the chords that I'm gonna teach you in this video because I will be calling out uh, the C position chords, not the chords for the actual key that we will be in, which is the key of D. Uh, but that is to make it easy for you guys at home to, you know, you know, you use your capo, change it up a little bit, and you know, still be able to follow along with the chord shapes that I'm teaching you in this video. All right, let's learn this one strumming pattern that will get you through this entire song. Uh, it's all in how you use the strumming pattern, my friends. Uh, you gotta keep it dynamic, gotta keep it interesting, and you're gonna see how I use the strumming pattern as we learn the chords to this song in the different sections. Um, you know, there are some parts of the song that require only downstrokes, which is just this. You know, just all kind of downstrokes. It's not really like a, you know, a strumming pattern per se. Uh, but I will let you know as we learn the song, as we go through the different sections, uh, which strumming uh, pattern I'm using for that specific section. So uh, let's learn this strumming pattern, though, uh, that will get you through most of the song. So one, two, three, four. <laughs> Let's slow that down. So one, two, three, four, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. All right, let's learn these chords. This is the intro of the song. I'm gonna be using just all downstrokes for my strumming pattern here. 
So one, two, three, four. All right, this is verse one. We are just continuing those downstrokes uh, for the strumming pattern. So one, two, three. The Lord is my shepherd, and he is everything I need. So I will not worry. I will not fear the enemy. He said that he loves me. He said that he's with me. I walk through the valley of shadow and death and still I don't. And that's the first chord of the next section, which is the chorus. All right, this is the first chorus, and we are continuing those downstrokes here for the strumming pattern. So one, two, three. He has good plans. He has good plans for me. So I will take heart in deserts and gardens. He has good plans. He has good plans for me. If I know my father, I know my father has. All right, then after that first chorus, we go into the turnaround here, and we are using our strumming pattern that we learned finally. <laughs> so let's uh, let's learn this turnaround after that first chorus. So one, two, three, four. Good plans. Straight into verse two there. All right, this is verse two, and we are using our trusty strumming pattern for this verse. So one, two, three, four. The Lord is my shepherd. So why should I doubt my victory? Why would I question the rod and the staff that comforts me? He quiets the waters. He quiets the storm inside of me. So what could be better? When I believe he has. And then straight into the chorus there. All right, this is the second chorus. They repeat this chorus. They, they play it two times. I'm just going to play it through once because it's the same both times. So let's play through this second chorus. So one, two, three. He has good plans. He has good plans. straight into the instrumental, uh, which that is the first chord of. All right, then after you repeat that second chorus that goes straight into the instrumental, uh, we'll be using all downstrokes for this section. There are uh, several measures to this instrumental, so I'll, I'll kind of count us through it. So one, two, three, four, one. straight into the bridge there. All right, so now we're getting to the bridge sections. Um, they have two different bridges, bridge 1A and bridge 1B. We're gonna address bridge 1A first. I'm gonna play through it once, but they do repeat this bridge 1A. Uh, but let's play through it one time. So one, two, three, four. Surely your goodness and mercy will follow after me. sing it 
again, same chords, you know, same strumming pattern. As you can see, I wasn't really playing the main strumming pattern again for that one. I was just doing all down strokes for that bridge 1A. All right, so now we get to bridge 1B. Uh, they repeat this bridge as well, and I'm going to play both of these bridge 1Bs because they're slightly different. So let's play through this. We're also going back to our strumming pattern now. So here we go. So one, two, three. Surely your goodness and mercy will follow after me. So if you will not find me, this I'll be dwelling in the house of God. Surely your goodness and mercy will follow after me. So if you will not find me, this I'll be dwelling in the house of God. And then that's the first chord of the next section, which is the chorus. All right, then after those bridges, they go back into the chorus, um, and it's the same thing as what I taught you for the second chorus, same strumming pattern and all that, same chords. Uh, so just refer back to that second chorus uh, to learn the third chorus. All right, then after that third chorus, they go into basically the ending of the song, and they're just kind of tagging that good plans, good plans, good plans. If I know my father, um, I know my father has good plans. So let's play through the ending of the song here. <clears throat> so one, two, three. Alright guys, so that is Good Plans by Red Rocks Worship. I hope that this video helps you to do this song. If you're doing it, as always, comment down below. I would love to hear from you guys. Um, and if there's anything else that you would like me to cover in my videos, I'll comment about that as well. Don't forget about NateMice.com where you can pick up some super sick Crazy Club merch. I got some shirts, some stickers, and some pins there. So go check that out so you can, you know, uh, declare your allegiance to the crazy club. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video.